In this lesson, I'll show you several examples on how to calculate the standard change in free energy for a reaction using the formula delta G is equal to delta H minus T times delta S. The first question reads, one of the possible initial steps in the formation of acid rain is the oxidation of the pollutant SO2 to SO3 by the reaction shown underneath. Calculate delta G for the reaction at 25 degrees Celsius and determine whether the reaction is spontaneous. We've discussed in past videos that the reaction is spontaneous when Gibbs's free energy is negative. So let's keep our eye out for that. What we'll have to do here is calculate the standard entropy change using this formula, then the standard enthalpy change using the formula underneath, then finally Gibbs's free energy formula to find delta G for this reaction. You'll also need a table of values showing the change in enthalpy for each of the molecules within this reaction and I've gathered them up here for convenience sake and keep in mind that if your chemical equation is not balanced it needs to be balanced. You might not be able to tell but currently it's not and to balance this I can place 1 over 2 in front of O2. Now it's perfectly balanced. So let's begin by calculating the standard entropy change using this formula. I'll write down the standard entropy change for the reaction is equal to this part is the sum of the standard molar entropy for the molecules found in the products. And it's being multiplied by n, where n represents the number of moles. We have one mole here. So I'll write down one mole times, using the information found in this table, SO3 has a standard molar entropy of 256.8 joules per mole times Kelvin. Notice that the mole units will cancel out, leaving you with joules over Kelvin. And that is being subtracted by the sum of those found in the reactants. So we have one mole of SO2. That's being multiplied by 248.2 plus half a mole of oxygen gas. So multiplying 205.2 times half. Let's use our calculator to compute this. 256.8 minus the sum of these, so 248.2 plus 0 0.5 representing half, 205.2, and we get negative 94. Negative 94 decimal zero joules per Kelvin is the standard entropy change. We'll use that soon. We'll repeat this procedure, but for standard enthalpy change. So I'll write down delta H for the reaction is equal to one mole of negative 395.7 minus one mole of negative 296.8 plus zero for oxygen. We don't even need to multiply it by half because anything times zero is nothing. Using our calculator again, negative 395.7 minus negative 296.8 close bracket and we get a delta H of negative 98.9 and this is in kilojoules per mole. There's a discrepancy in the units. This one is in joules, this one is in kilojoules. You have to decide whether you want kilojoules or joules. So I'll change this into joules by multiplying it by 1000. If I multiply this by 1,000, I end up with the negative 98900 joules per mole. Now we can finally use Gibbs's free energy formula. Of course, the temperature needs to be in Kelvin, so I'll change 25 degrees Celsius into Kelvin by adding 273 to that. So that's 298, but let me show you. 298, I have delta G for the reaction is equal to this number, negative 98. 900, zero, zero. that's three significant figures, don't forget, minus 298 times the number we found earlier, negative 94.0. Let's use our calculator, negative 98900 zero, zero, minus 298 times negative 94.0, and our delta G happens to be negative. So it'll be spontaneous. Let me write that down to three significant figures. Negative seven point 
zero nine times ten to the power of five and the units are joules. So we can conclude that the reaction at this temperature happens to be spontaneous. Now if you would like to see the answers to questions two through four, make sure that you watch part two of this series where we cover their solutions. Hope to see you soon.